Yeah, yeah. I know. Peace, peace. So, right. so, so Jed or J-I-D? It's really both, bro. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I was one of the niggas to say something. You feel yeah. me? Like, you say whatever you yeah. want. I, I figured you got used to the, you know, niggas like <laughs> alternating and shit. Yeah. Like, I'll be hitting him like, yo, Jay, yo, yo, Jay, yo, Jay. <laughs> and he just be answering nah, that shit, all, so. Indeed. <laughs> that, shit, that shit came from my grandma because yeah. she, um, she country as hell. So she say jittery, like J I D. What did that came from? You just like a jittery baby? When I was a baby, I used to be <laughs> active. You know? I'm shit. still like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm still active yeah. like that, but, um, yeah. Yeah, it was just some Well, listen, shit. man. Welcome back to 47 Minutes. Been a little brief hiatus. Indeed. A little break. We back, we back. Saying. But we back, you know Niggas what I mean? With here. the none other as you see, J.I.D. Yeah, yeah. Mr. DiCaprio 2 drop in. What's that, November 26th? November 26th, so, bro. Make sure y'all go get that. Well, shit. By the time a lot of you people will be watching this. Probably, probably out. out. Yeah. Yeah. So you we know probably took over the world by then. You know what I mean? I heard a couple sneak peeks <laughs> <laughs> and just know Fires. my man ain't here to disappoint. <laughs> you feel me? You my boy, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, yeah. yo, so you just caught the new piece. My first chain, man. This first chain. My first chain. fucking chain. Oh, fucking 47. Yo, you turn this into a thing, yeah. though, bro. You turn this into yeah. a thing, like. Nah, fact, bro, like, yes. the last one we did was with Yachty, bro. He's changed. Nah, Five man. Yeah. Ago, bro. Turn it into a thing. Yachty had the old school Cam Ron shit come live to him on the show. Yeah, yeah Yachty, Yachty, Yachty was one of the most people. It turned it into a thing. Now, yo, Yachty's yeah, a, we had a good time a with him nigga, bro. on the show. Bro. We had a good time with him on the show. I fuck with Yachty. Me too. So we all double XL freshmen, alumni. Right. So Yachty hit me after the freestyle was like, like you went crazy gang on that shit. That's what he said. This is a crazy gang. I was like, that's some good ass lingo, Yachty. So. I just hit that nigga up and I always congratulate that nigga on shit just because he just cool as hell. Like he yeah. a good ass person, bro. He ain't from the A, so. Nah, Yachty is super cool, bro. Like from the first time I met him, it was like at a uh it was at a Diddy screener for the Can't Stop Won't Stop movie. Oh shit. And like um he had just came to me like something like, yo, bro, I fuck with you, like, you know, you solid. And um, you know, I just always remembered that. And um, I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, that conversation almost like opened my mind to him. You know yeah, to his whole what he is yeah, type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Indeed. not even that, like, you know, I, I uh, disliked what he was doing before, but it's just like, it really opened my mind. And it's like, I feel like now, you know, I'm starting to understand the rap game on a different level. Where we at with it. Let me cut you off. You know what? This nigga's a veteran. <laughs> He's been in the game for like six years. It's almost 10 years. Wow. Shit. That's fucking Next crazy, year. bro. Wow. You just, you feel me? He's not even past No, we were talking about that. Remember though, we were talking about that. I was like, so is he old to you? And Yachty was like, yeah, Yachty, yeah, Yachty said that. Yachty was like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, you're in the same high school. Y'all went to the same high school, bro. You would have been a junior. He would have been like maybe a freshman. Yeah, a senior, freshman, whatever, bro. I'm like, crazy. That shit followed. But time sped up. You know what I mean? We're in a quick quick time. It's what it is, though, bro. And you know, it's different. Rap age. Rap age. Rap age is weird. Bro, indeed. Michael, indeed. Indeed. Michael, no, Michael, indeed. You know indeed. what though? You know what though? It's like after 2012, bro, it's like technology and like, you know, uh, streaming tech and everything really it. accelerated everything. Yeah. It's not even Facts. just rap, like music yeah. as a whole. But Facts. like Life in the last too. in the last like five, six years, like rap really became the number one genre, genre. in the world. You know it, it's saying? always it's been like, though. They're just admitting it. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no but, but now it's clear. Yes. There's no denying it. That's it's right. right in front of your old. face. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I think 45 years old, y'all know. Rap is 45 years old, right? I feel like the. Oh. I feel like that's. I the, know a few. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's crazy. It's not even <laughs> old, my nigga. Like, that's yeah. some real shit. Rap is really, like, powerful as fuck. Hip hop, music is powerful, but the whole culture. Do, it's a whole culture. That's why. What's your take on, like, you know, the current state of the rap game right now? Everything moving fast. But I see it like, it's like high school, like what you said. Every four years, shit change. Mm -hmm. It's a wave that's here right now. We all know what's going on, but it's like a tide changing right now. I feel like everybody can see it. Mm -hmm. And it's about to be like a, a major chain of like, change of like the style that people attack like musically. The, I feel like the, the talent level like is gonna matter this time around, opposed to just like the, the presence online right. or the other shit that that don't even got to do with music. Just the, the 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 factors that make people fuck with people. The it factor. Type I was shit. just yes. having um. I was on Facetime with an ugly guy earlier today. It's the first good time. person, bro. Yeah, no, he's a really good, good. Shout out, really good <laughs> person. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's the first time I ever spoke to him too. And like you know, we just talking about like the rap game and basically how um 
yeah, that this is that moment where I, I, I lose track of what I was about to say. I love that, bro. We should like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 I mean, you know, it was some technical difficulties, so it took a little a little bit to start the show. <laughs> yeah. So it was a lot of pre-gaming. Got to, <laughs> we, we got <laughs> somewhere before we got here. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's real family style yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo, let's talk, let's talk to Caprio too though, man. Yeah, facts. Let's, let's talk that. What's the whole what was the whole creative process behind the album? Like what was the whole what what are you trying to accomplish on this album? Like what does this album mean to you? See, I that's one of the greatest that's a great question. Reporters don't even ask that question, but we have Joseph the badass <laughs> asking the, the hard-hitting questions here. <laughs> um that shit started when I wasn't signed. I made this shit. The first one, this is the Caprio too. So. Right. The first one I made in 2015. By the way, where's the Caprio one? Because I, I was looking for that shit today. SoundCloud. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I use hella samples and shit from movies before I signed, so mm, I ain't had to clear nothing. So you never cleared it. But so this time... You're going to have to put that bitch on later. Whoo, I got to. I'll mean, I, I yeah. take the suit. I literally... Bro, I was yeah. talking I was talking to cute. I was at Q-Tip yeah. house today. Nice. I talked to Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> Top levels. Nigga, what? Top levels. Leonardo nigga had time? Bro, he was like... I'm gonna listen to the project. Thank you. That's it was real simple, real light. That's fine. But it just came from when he didn't have no. Did he Oscar. see the cover? No, it's a doppelganger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, because you told me that. I don't know. I don't know if the people know. <laughs> they know. They know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's funny. It was but if you didn't tell me that, bro, I did I thought that was facts? <laughs> because I was <laughs> not. Yeah, that's crazy. For a minute. No, I didn't even know. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying. funny on right now. Yeah, <laughs> but um, but let's talk. Let's talk more about like your creative process. Like, how do you? How do you go about approaching an album? I mean, I know this one is like a sequel for you. Yeah. So like, you know, that's kind of like an add-on to something that was kind of, the foundation was already laid, but just talk about your approach to this one. This one? And how is it different from the from the Never story? Because I really <sighs> fucked with the album, by the way. My nigga, so, that's love. So. Um, Totally different because I attacked this shit like, it's a Gangsta Grills. You feel me? I was rapping. Fast on this bitch of rap. So I was doing different styles and just trying to paint pictures and shit. Nigga, like I feel that. like you get doing better. that shit on the last one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But we in store. I'm trying, I'm, trying to give, I'm trying to give niggas a different side, but yeah. uh, just, I got better. You feel me? Right. Yeah. And this bro, process, bro. you feel me? And, and that's the time from when I dropped this shit, March 10th, 2017, up until now. You right. feel me? Like, I didn't expect to be here right now. Nigga. I have on a chain. Like, this shit is different. So I just put this Bro, this is the timing is so crazy, bro. Like that shit is busting right now. It's like the timing is so perfect. I'm glad I got the first exclusive. I don't know what my luck with chains is. You know what I'm saying? I guess I got a lot of chains coming in my future. Like, yo, bro, that shit is icy. You got the edit and drippy. The edit and drip, man. That shit just hard work. I just did it one. I ain't even gonna go too crazy. I'm not no big journey. Nah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It gets addictive. It gets addictive. It's, it's, addictive. it's, it's kind of like, like tattoos. was telling me when I first started, like, oh, you're gonna be a flashy nigga. And I was offended. I'm like, yo, bro, like, this is the this is the motherfucker wearing the wooden pieces and shit at the time. I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna have no chains, man. I'm a low key person. Yeah. Nah, I got chains. Bro, we work hard. We work hard for this shit. And I got rings. Oh, but see, I come from the yeah. era, era rings, when we rings. I come from the era when we switched that over, though. Cause yeah, everybody right. had the chains. You understand right. what I'm saying? And then Public Enemy and I mean even Karis one, we get a big dookie chain. Yeah, the big dookie. They started yeah, to yeah. realize what was going on in them streets over them chains. They started to realize the music was influencing. Yeah. So they started to say, now nah, we're gonna wear something that it's like the white t-shirt movement when mm-hmm. the high boys was yeah. easy for everyone to look crisp. Facts. They did the same thing, the black medallions with the and then these are custom pieces, you know what I mean? Now, yeah. Being so, said that, how important is it for you to use your music to like influence people in a positive. I'm from Atlanta, bro. So you know that shit south, below the Mason Dixon and all of that shit. And it's a whole lot of lost, lost, lost ass people down there. You know what I'm saying? Because we like the descendants of slaves and all that shit. So I take like hella responsibility for my like my skin tone, our skin tone, you know what I'm saying? And and people of color, minority, they don't even fucking matter. Minorities in itself. That's like my whole thing is just like, bro, we can elevate this. It's a middle class, it's a higher class, it's a lower class, but we need to minimize on the fucking lower class, bro, because everybody deserves opportunity to at least be somebody. So I don't know. I just try and push like real shit through my message, like real situations, shit they go through, you go through, you go through, that everybody didn't go through. And I try to just not lie, bro. And that's some of the hardest things for people. It's not facts. 
I'm just, I just don't want to lie. I love that. Yeah, facts. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to lie. Bro, I, I don't, people, people like that more, man. They, I, I think people get tricked into thinking that it's some sort of like, yeah. everyone likes just I honestly like, hate lying. Bro. Yeah, the lying is just, like, I yeah, lying. I can't even live And like sometimes it. I feel like, you know, as human beings, we're, we're put in like tough circumstances where it's like, damn, like, Lying is probably the easiest way out of this right yeah. now. But you know what I'm saying? It's all it. That's it. That's it. Right. Yeah. And I'm not even talking about any musical playing. I'm talking about a web. Yeah, Start you know making a web mean? right there. Get Hell sticky yeah. quick. Yeah. Yo, tell me about um how you and Cole linked up. I I never heard this stuff. Oh, all right, yeah, it's cool. So Earth Gang, you know Earth Gang, yeah. the homies. Mm-hmm. These niggas went on tour with Ab Soul and Boss. Mm-hmm. Through shout we, out to Ab, shout out to Boss. Shut up, shout out to these are the homies. Um, went on tour. Cole came to one of the shows. I was just coming doing one song with them and just traveling. This is our first time ever on the road, so we geek. I come out, do one song. Cole see us after the show. He's like, you're not an Earth Gang. I fuck with you, though. And then he knew Earth Gang because they already been mm-hmm. matriculating, doing their thing. So I used to smoke with Seb Brown, the homie, on tour. That was my, my smoking buddy because I'm doing one song, so I'm chilling for us tonight. Right. He was listening to all my music. He was playing that shit for Cole after tour. Mm-hmm. Cole was like, yo, this nigga's nice. He came to the A when he was doing the What's the tour? What year we in? We in 2016. Mm. No, we're in 2014. Oh, Damn. Shit. We in 2014. Time, 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 time to go. Yes, it's, it's fucking four years. 2018 it's right now. That's it's crazy. Five, going on it goes five. quick, bro. Going on five. It goes quick. This year so, will be quick as shit. It's good week. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're doing, we doing a tour and shit like that, bro. He fuck with us. He listened to my music around 2015. That's when I dropped the first DiCaprio. So after that tour is when I dropped the first DiCaprio, and me and said, stay in touch. She playing with my music. Not the Forest Hill Drive. Forest Hill Drive? 24, yeah. 2014 Forest Hill Drive. He was touring. He came to Atlanta and came to our house, and we just played this nigga music. We stay in, you've been in my crib. We stay in the hood, but we stay in a nice house. Right. He was just there, bro, cool. And ever since then, it was organic that as fuck. Like, that's trap. That's dope. Trap. <laughs> yeah, trap. 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 With, with the studio in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's now, that shit was a beautiful vibe. Yeah. Yeah, that know, whole night, bro. We was just out in, um, I was just out in uh, ATL a few weeks ago. You tell me what you're doing? Huh? You tell me what you was doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, linked up with, I linked up with the homie Jay. We hit up the strip club. Yeah, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Like, the it's real so Atlanta funny, experience. Though, it's the first time. time. It's, yeah, it was my first in time a. going to the strip club in Atlanta. I did enjoy it, but it was just, it went by so fast because we literally got there in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> so, like, we got there. It's no more money. They was giving us the runaround about the money. Then we finally the get the money. Us. Then they turn the fucking lights on. Uh, so we just like, ah, fuck. Throwing all the money, got down all at once. That shit worked. That shit was a great night. Then we yeah. went back. We, we was went back, drunk. chill. We was drunk. And we, 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 like, we just made a vibe on it. We created an idea. Yeah, <laughs> was, we um, put a dope ass idea down. Hell yeah. Well, Damn, bro, so for, you, for those of y'all asking, the Joey J.I.D. collab is coming. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't make it for Can't the Capri or two. <laughs> Best believe I will make the next one. Bro, he's going to be on the album, facts. Yeah. And we just build a rapport, like, even outside of us making music and being, like, in the same field. We got cool before we even started that, that conversation. That's what I like. Up, That's why up, I fuck yeah. with you. Because I like building with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I want to know what you stand for. I want to know what you're going to be talking you coming about. coming from? If we do a song, mm-hmm. are you going to be Indeed. a lying-ass Same thing? with me with making music, man. I want to I feel where you at. So, we should, bro. That's bro. always the best way, like, my nigga. What, what I... When I see and I come across people that I know I want to make music with at some point, I don't force the shit, bro. Mm-hmm. I just know, like, I, I want it to happen in the most organic way. You know why you my nigga? The most natural way. You brought me out to Steve's day. I did. I did. You nah, I'm glad Steve's you day, came bro. out, bro. I'm <laughs> glad you came that was out. Crazy. I was in the middle of tour. Facts. I'm you glad you came out. Because we tried to get you on the bill, but then, like, some, like, miscommunication happened and then hit me, like, yo, I'm actually in town. Word. I'm like, nigga, pull up. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Steve's you know A is one like, of the most special things, bro. Up, you did yeah. something for hip hop, bro. Like, niggas admire you for that, bro. You got, oh, man. Thank you. you got a nigga, bro. You already know his love, my nigga. I'm happy for you, bro. Appreciate that, man. Um, let me ask you something. Okay. When we get some new music, bro. Oh, when shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. For me in the hot yeah. seat. Yeah, that's yeah. the hot topic yeah. around these Musical chairs in this moment. For real. He came the host real quick. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 He got us on the, on the couch. Shit, bro. Um, <laughs> so let me, uh, just a song. You ain't got to give me a project. I just want to know when the next I song admit, here. I admit. A 16 from Joey. I, oh, a 16. The next 16. The next 16. I ain't going to say. It might, like, 
I'm I'm looking at. I'm in 2019. So I'm, I'm in 2019. <laughs> Good answer. You know. What All I mean? right. So That's I don't know like. what's gonna you know possibly come out prematurely or but you know. Joe you know, is in 2019. But I'm in 2019. That's where. I'm that's beautiful, bro. Yeah. All right, that's that's all I had. I just want no, to know when we're going to get some more. You feel me? Get some more great news. Right now, I'm all ears. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. listening out for the DiCaprio 2. My dog. I'm Indeed. listening out for the It Is What Indeed. It Is. Shout out to Kirk Knight. Facts. Word. I'm listening out for who else? Oh, I want to hear that Offset Project. You know Offset Project Indeed. dropping. I feel like. Uh, not Gucci. Did Gucci say he was dropping something? Yeah, I don't know. I heard you. I heard something. Little Baby them coming again. Little baby, Lil baby finna drop. Six nine say he coming. Six nine I think, dropping I think again. Twenty third. He dropping on twenty third. Oh uh, wait, he dropping on a Wednesday or something? No, no. I, I switched that's, up. That's I switched. Yeah, I switched my shit up. Oh, my shit so is dropping on Monday. Oh, cause okay. all right, I can say this. Fuck it. Niggas been dropping on Fridays. Oh yeah. I don't listen to shit on Fridays. On Fridays, I'm getting my weekend active. But Monday, my the way my project set up. That shit gonna live with you the whole week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, then you might go into the weekend sure, with yeah. it. So, so, I, I'm trying so, to make shit for timely matters, not yeah, that's for. What's good. You know you're gonna miss those first three days though, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I I risk it. Cause I just feel like my my fan base yeah. mm-hmm. and the people who no, really I, fuck, I fuck with me are that, gonna yeah. be there regardless. I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with that. Just a different mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want. But we shit. constantly talking about he got it. We constantly talking light? about different drops. You got it. You don't got it. Who got the light? We got the fire. <laughs> Yo, you know what? You fuck all this shit. Got it. Oh, we got fire right <laughs> here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back to it. Ooh, yeah. hands. Hands. You, you, you play sports? Mm-hmm. You, you play football? I was a wide athletic. receiver type, safety type. Wide receiver or quarterback. All right. I, I got the best cannon in this room right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always played defense and shit. I was like a, a defender, a cornerback, kid return, punt return and shit. I was lit though. I was lit. I'm super fast. You, you was like on the team and no, shit? I was, on, I was a scholarship athlete oh, in shit. college. Wait, I, I got kicked out. Yeah, 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 I got kicked yeah, out yeah. so it ain't matter. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you J.I.D. now. You know what I'm exactly. saying? What they kick you off with? Um, damn, this would be the first time I ever told a story if I tell it, but I don't know if I should tell it because it's lawyers and shit. Because of like, oh, I mean, is the case closed? But you know, uh, what's it If called? the case is closed, speak on it vaguely. Look, 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 look. <laughs> when, <laughs> um, what's it called? It's called uh, when you got to wait a few years after the shit is over. And this is, uh, we ain't got to talk about it, bro. Let's move on. Indeed, indeed, I'll indeed, tell you about it off camera, bro. <laughs> oh, it's called Statue of Limitations. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah, we ain't got time. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. So, yo, who was like, when you was like, you know, who, who's your main inspirations, your influences, mm. or just even who you're listening to right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I kind of want to answer both. <laughs> yeah, like what, what got you into MC? Yeah. Like, what was, what first was? and foremost, my family, first off, my cousin wrote Sweet Lady for uh, Tyrese. Your name is Jante Austin. Yeah, so it's already in my blood. Gotcha, gotcha. Sweet love. Oh my goodness, bro. That was my shit, dog. And what's crazy, this nigga don't even know that I do music like this. That was my shit, bro. Yep. That's family. That's my That's first crazy. cousin, bro. That's crazy. Shout out to Cuz. Yeah, Jante Austin. Um, hope this nigga see this shit, because you don't even know I do music. He my cousin. <laughs> When's the last time you spoke to him? Maybe since I was a single age, like a wow. nine, ten years old. You Shout out to all the distant relatives out there. And I got a huge family, you feel me? Like Bro, me, me too. Me youngest too. of seven, then my, the family around that is just packed. Yeah. A lot of well, babies. Where are your parents from? My parents from Atlanta. Both from, from, well, Tifton, Georgia. My mom. My dad's from Albany, Georgia. It's like south, the the, the, the red state of Georgia, like yeah. the, that part. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, country shit. Like, is that your family roots? Like past your grandparents or not? Yeah, Georgia. Um. And then we just, yeah, we just got a big family, bro. It's crazy. In South Georgia. No, but continue. So, yeah, your cousin was sweet lady. Yeah. And then. Uh, so, but what, like, what, what so, like, what MCs was, like, in your head or what or, did you, or, or what did you or, hear? Yeah. Like, Even what music did that, you like, what, no. what made you attract? <laughs> like, what's like, on? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right? He's crying and shit out of it. You want to know? Like, like where's the where those flows coming from? Like, I used to fuck with Sly and the Family Stone heavy. I need to get my, niggas keep calling me. Um. Slider Family Stone, I vividly remember like seeing the words that they was talking about like as a little kid and Earth, Wind & Fire and shit like that. But that's just like, everybody listens to the great shit. You listen to Michael Jackson's and all that shit. Parents so just bumping that. Bumping the good bump. shit, bumping the Marley's and shit. 
Yo, you know Marley died like 10 years before, 20 years before some of us were even born and his impact is just like right here in our face. Mm -hmm. Shit like that is what make me want to do music. Just like the generational goddamn, the long stand or the withstand the impact of your name. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to leave Mark because it's a billion people in the fucking world, a million people, whatever, but you're just like a speck. You know what I'm saying? We all we only got this amount of time. Yeah, it's a in the grand of time. scheme of infinity, you feel me? Or however the fucking world gonna last. So, how can I stretch my fucking my little spec? How can I make that shit the biggest as possible? Oh, yeah. And I be thinking about shit. I got to go through that shit on my own, and how I want to leave my legacy to my family, my seeds, leave a mark, bro. And that's what we doing. That's the foundation we setting, bro. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So right. that's well, what I'm aiming for, bro. Cheers to that, my boy. Boy, salute. Oh yeah. So tell me about the producers on this new project. Who you working with? Um, I work with the same guy. His name Christo. He's my DJ. You do so all your beats? He do all. He did never. He did all the shit you fuck with, bro. He did one. For oh, that's because who's at the at the, was at the crib? crib. Who, 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 the one we had on the that's beat. Light skin dude. No, brown. He closer brown, to light, brown, but brown. Yeah. Um, lighter than me. He did lighter than that nigga. We light actually <laughs> speaking of skin, we need to uh, drop these skincare lines. Oh, you know what I'm saying. We, we we really got our uh, our black black uh, melanin you know, popping right now. You yeah, understand yeah, me yeah. <laughs> with the you know, gold popping. All pop. that melanin <laughs> glowing, baby. You know what I'm saying <laughs> all that. Hey, hey. Joy and Jizz Skincare Line 2019 on the way. It's for all. It's, it's just for ladies though. We ain't even making it for the dudes. We just gonna give our beautiful skin yeah, to these facts. ladies. Cause we drop the makeup package. <laughs> you know what I'm saying the product. It's 47 Jay. shades. Facts. We need to do. 47 shades. Oh, that's fire. We actually own the song. Yeah, you know, I'm so with this, we're gonna trade trade my dash. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, but, so I think I know the answer to the question, but like growing up, like, were you more spiritual or religious? Ooh. Growing up, growing up, I was more religious because mm -hmm. of parents and outside sources that teach you these things. But now, today, I'm more hella more spiritual. spiritual. I, I care about all, I like to check out each different religion, belief, all of that shit and just see. And at the end of the day, the nucleus is, it's all the same. Yeah. Everybody's just looking That's right. for something bigger than themselves and bigger yeah. than, you know what I'm saying, to the explain. flesh. Explain. To explain, to explain what the fuck, how do we, you know what I'm saying? Indeed. So yeah, same with you though. What do you want? No, same with you though, right? Yeah, 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 no, same with me. But, Not um, really. I didn't, I didn't grow up with no religion like really like mm. that. My parents was uh, a little more open minded to like he could decide that if he wanted to believe in something like that. Mm -hmm. So we they made me aware of what was out there, and of course, some of the family is Christian, some of them is Catholics. So where where so, you at today? So I, I'm just with the spirit, Fire. you know, and That's I feel, yeah, and I feel like um, it's just like anything else. It, it can serve a purpose that could be good, you know, to give some education about a certain time period in your life. A lot mm -hmm. of a lot of the religion stuff is more dealing with when you're young. Yeah. There's not a lot of it for when you like grow up. Because you know, when you grow up, you out with you. the spirit, you know, it grows with out you out and the older spirit is speaking to your spirit. You know what it all is? It's just love, bro. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. It's really just love. If you love people, I feel like if we had love and shit, niggas probably wouldn't even like need money type shit. It'll be like a whole different type of world. Oh, if true. everybody just based on a system of goddamn Person. Yo, if you weren't worried that someone was trying listen, to screw you every time you do business, you could. I mean, it would be a different business. It's, it's like it's right capitalism. off the rip. It's <laughs> Indeed. You know Indeed. what I'm saying? But there's Indeed. this quote. It says, when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. You know, like that quote. You know who said it? Deeply resonated with me. His name is uh, Siri Chimno Chinmoy Goose. A lot of people say that Jimi Hendrix said Yeah, but he's but quoting he, him. He's actually uh, Jimmy quoting, is quoting him. I, I, I don't yeah, say know if I'm time. pronouncing it's, it right. It's for the people in the back. When the power of love overcomes... For the people in the back. When the, <laughs> when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Sheesh. Yeah, bro. That's he snapped. That's a bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm about that album, Shoot. bro. I'm about to turn yeah, that bro. album Where up, nigga. <laughs> Where that shit at, bro? Damn, nah. bro. Yo, so... I gotta ask you, what's your whole take on uh, gay shit going on? I used to love, I, I used to, hey baby, when I used to love you. I'm drunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I love him. I love Ye. What he's done. I feel like I do a really good job on that impression. Non sequitur. No, we'll, we'll get back I'm, to I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've heard you sing before. You, you know. Yeah, but you ain't hear me like John Legend. John Legend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't like, I'm not too like political. I'm not like, I don't speak on politics. I, I got my own beliefs and I just own one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at him more for music. I don't look at him for shit else. Right. So he's good in my book. I don't care about everything else. I don't, the shoes are so, cool. What, what, so, all right, so, about, but, about, but what do you think about like um, musicians, like, and we kind of like spoke on a little bit earlier, but what do you think about like musicians influencing politics? Cause yeah, it's funny, I was it's, it's, on, a, it's a fine line, it's a, it's a I was on Instagram today and um, like, I just seen a girl wearing a shirt and her shirt said, um, hip hop is more powerful than the government or some, something along the lines of that. Yeah. And it really just made me think, you know what I'm saying? Fact, because it is rap being the, the new number one it, genre and it the been world right now. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, literally anything that we need to be heard, if we put it through rap, if we use rap as a as a a, a device, you know, for it, it's yeah. like boom, the whole world pretty yeah. much. Public enemy called hip hop the black, the, the hood CNN. You're right, because it was always saying yeah. like, "This is what we're going through, fam." I mean, and that, that, if, if not for hip hop, that's how they, they would have never started. knew what was going on mm -hmm. in Iowa. Yeah. They would never know about Marcy Projects. I mean, that's how they you say rap saying? started. You know what I'm saying? It was a means of of uh, spreading decoded messages through the neighborhood. Facts. You know, what I'm saying? no, because once that saying, once them the powers that be knew that graffiti was words. Yeah. Oh no, get that shit the fuck off. We don't know what the fuck that said. Yeah. That was the new hieroglyphics right there. And that mm -hmm. whole little wave started, even when they started to break dancing and all of that shit, that whole little like wave right there, that, that sparked something beautiful for, for like where we living at right now. What's going on a lot of shit. Yeah, it came from like, if you look at footage yeah. of the Bronx, like 76, 77, up to 80, it looks like Germany in the World War II pictures. You feel me? Like the oh, whole right. joint is burnt down. You don't have like a burnt down building on your block. Like your whole block has got burnt down buildings. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You got a couple of cribs that's just people living in a niche, fucked up. You know, I see them in the dark. So when you see that, and that's not even that's pre-crack. Mm -hmm. That's pre-crack. So pre you think crack. you think damn cracks about to hit these people? And it's already fucked. You know what I mean? Already it's already done. this. So you see the setup, right? You yeah. see where they was putting people to, but they didn't understand that they was gonna awaken the ancestors of hip hop. Fucking Reagan. What came from Bronx, yeah, Reagan. You should see the footage of Reagan in the Bronx in like 1980. I gave him a good ball on the project. On the project. They threw the title. God damn. <laughs> Yo, did you, ever, did you ever see that video of uh, Ronald Reagan and he's like, uh, he's yes. addressing the UN and he's talking about the aliens? Oh, no, I never Oh, that. bro, what, you really, what video you thought I was talking about? It was one, I just, Remember him saying some bullshit. I don't know when he was like showing the drugs. Yeah, <laughs> when he was sitting at, he was sitting at the desk. Yeah. Wait, wait, was that Ronald? No, that's Bush. That's, that's Bush. Bush. Yeah, that's Bush. That's Bush. But Ronald did some 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 like similar shit. All that. But anyway, like yo, there's this video, um, and Ronald is like, yo, he's talking to the United Nations, right? And he's like, it's literally like a 47 second video you can find on YouTube, and he's like, you know, I wonder if if like you know, the whole, if, he was basically saying, if the world experienced a threat that seemed like it was outside of the world, basically yeah, true, saying that it's coming from aliens, life. we were all united as one. Like he was pretty much like promoting this agenda for people to like, for like the United Nations together, to come together and yeah. like be like, talking about an alien threat. An alien threat, like, but stay in the 80s. Though, you know what I'm saying? In the 80s, it's so almost like, like he's giving them a script. What do you think? Like, like. What's your, what's your what's your belief? What's your take on what's aliens? aliens? What's aliens? That's a great. We just got the aliens. It's the greatest. Because <laughs> that there. shit busts my head. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he's saying that shit, they out there, my nigga. It's something out there beyond all of this shit. I don't know if the way he was trying to go. About you know what it, I was just like... reading up on? <laughs> you know what I was just reading up on? I meant to ask you about this. Um, the Hollow Earth theory. Hollow Earth. Did you ever hear that story about? It's like that. What's, what's the I never name? heard it. Who? I got it in my phone. Who? Uh, Hollow Earth. But anyway, yeah. it's like just this theory about like these guys, they were on this fucking expedition or whatever they just working for the military and like they just went somewhere where they were supposed to and it brought them to the inner, like this inner city that's in the earth, like this inner world. It's like this is theory about Hollow Earth. You just look it up. Like, <laughs> Hollow Earth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
The niggas at hell. <laughs> but it's supposed to be like this utopia, bro. It's like, yeah, it's they like got har- fucking, it's, like um, it's harmony. In woolly mammals. They got like all the like extinct animals that like. Hollow Earth. Like, hollow Earth. I'm on it. Shit up, yeah. Yeah. I'm on it. Um, we evolved. We was talking about flat Earth before, now we're talking about hollow Earth. Yeah, right? <laughs> Y'all think the Earth flat? I, I just know. I mean, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I don't give a fuck, <laughs> bro. I'm just, I really don't care if I'm just open minded, right bro. Could they get but I'm just open minded. Changes your mind if it's a different thing. You know if it's mean? a different thing, because then you're in a matrix that you're not in. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. If it's not a globe, bro. The only the only thing that I wonder about the whole flat Earth shit is like, yo, if the shit is flat, why would they be telling us it's round? Right? Oh, because that changes physics. Everybody no, I know it changes physics, but what else? Yeah, what you know is, what I'm saying? Like, control. 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 Control, what control is the, that's the thing. Right, right. The power, bro. When you don't have the information, you don't have the power, bro. The information. How about if you even woke up out of all this shit and you thought it was something else and now you're dizzy because it's not that? <laughs> <laughs> bro, what? You feel me? <laughs> that was just, I'm saying. <laughs> He's saying, yo. yo yeah, I'm saying, shit, if you no, think no. it's this yeah. and then you wake up and it's, it's this, this and then you hear You might be like, yo. What the whole body physics might be nice. if you really woke up from your illusionary dream that's, <laughs> that's going on bro information bro information is the key knowledge that's the key to everything love oh. and knowledge bro you get those two things if you figure those, those shits out you probably top five yeah you feel me yeah, we we but we in that birds. age we're we we getting age, that bro and we getting too much of it so a lot of misinformation too much of a lot of misinformation yep. alright so the age of, of information is the age of misinformation it's both it's equally like yo here's the truth I and a lie some of these kids is growing up with oh, it's. Cold. Some of these kids growing up with just internet. Mm-hmm. Remember when it was just when the internet was just starting and shit like that. Some of these people like don't even know. All they know is this is this is life right here. Bro, I'm and coming from I'm coming from the all. antennas on the TV, bro. bro like, like there's no cable. You know what I'm saying? Like my daughter is part of that generation. She is where in that world. Bro. We're gonna be able to document her whole life. Like, she gonna like she's a like like straight up movie star style. You know like, what I'm saying? Everything like everything's gonna be seen. I mean, by the time she get old, she's probably gonna be like, no, this 4K. is normal. 4K. This is like, no, yeah. She's probably like 4K. Like, no, to the babies. They just be doing shit. 3D. Like, like everything right. gonna be out here virtual. No, the babies. You gonna have to be like, 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Bro, That's what we bro. Sure. bro. Oh, we did I, already. I, 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 so, we did. So, TV shows, my nigga. What you watching? TV shows what right now. I just, I'm a, since I'm late right now, I just got into the office. The office? I just got into that shit too. Just fire. Didn't know it was yeah, that great. Yeah. Um, but on some, I was late on Curve too. Curve enthusiasm. Curve enthusiasm. I like that type of humor. I'm just starting yeah, to yeah. open up to that yeah. type of shit. But uh, but like now nah, we're talking about show shows, shows like shows like, that you can get not, not into. comedies. Yeah, like, yeah, that like, was just that was just off the top. I just had to throw that. The last show show that I watched, I watched like 40 episodes and it was trash. I don't even want to bring that shit up. They don't get no promo. Um, he said they don't get no. No, it was. It, it that's just you enjoy. I will tell you, bro. I'm right now. One, I'm, I'm right now, I'm watching. Um, I'm like addicted to Criminal Minds, bro. Oh, Criminal Minds, like, bro. They first of all, they got like twelve seasons. Yeah, this shit been around for like yeah, yeah, years. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like I just got into that, and it's pretty much about like this group in the FBI that called profilers, and mm-hmm. what they their job is to like investigate like these crimes, these murders, or whatever. And they're supposed to like build a description out for what the suspect is possibly like gonna look like, and then they catch the nigga. So they started from the from the top end. Like they study, they study his moves, they study the murder, they study, study how they how they killed the victim or whatever. It's like okay, like trying to profile. He him, did right? this, so that means boom, boom, boom. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or like it wasn't no signs of forced entry, so that means that the Victim was Must comfortable have with the suspect. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. they narrow this shit down, bro. That shit is so fire. Criminal mind. So interesting, bro. Yeah. And it's 12 seasons, bro. I'm only on season one. How you episode feel? 19. Word. Here and we like go. 20 episodes each season. So back, right. back to my show. How you feel about the NFL and all of that shit? NFL? NFL, the, the kneeling, the Kaepernick shit, the oh. that whole exchange. Like, that's, yeah, go ahead. I mean, bro, I'm, I'm all about the freedom of speech. I'm all about people with, um, you know, large platforms coming out and speaking for people who are speaking for the voiceless. I'm all about that. You know what I mean? I think it's, it's pretty much like our responsibility almost because we come from the same places as these people yeah. and we happen to make it out. But like, I feel like with a lot of us, there's this individualistic mindset 
that's mm. pretty much planted into us. And it's like, once we get it, like we're not really thinking about anybody else, mm. like, or the community, like we're not thinking, you know what I'm saying? Cause everybody about, don't take it in the family. Yeah, but so when, when I you see- you grew up, what's matter? That's, that's what I feel like. Yeah, man. like, but when I the see Colin, thing. you know, kneeling and everything, like I applaud that, bro. Like I, I, I look Same. at that as like Muhammad Ali. Yes. Like, you know what Same. I mean? That is like, you, you standing up to the, to the government, you know what I mean? You standing up to corporate. On some funny shit. To the oppressors, you know what I'm saying? And letting them know what's up. And when he you, first he's fighting for a lot of people who voices would never be heard. You know what I mean? When he first did that, <laughs> this is funny. When he first did that shit, he came to one of cold shows when we was on tour. And like the day before, Mike Vick had said something about like, uh, Colin, just stay in your lane or something like that. So when we seen, it was some weird, some weird shit Mike Vick said about Colin kneeling. So we seen yeah, Colin like, walking by. Yeah, it was weird. It was super weird. It, it, it really, it it's had like, me in a weird place. I don't think you coming. <laughs> but yeah, it's documented. Yeah. So when Colin walked by, niggas was like, fuck Mike Vick, fuck Mike Vick. He just started laughing, bro. I'm just, that's just a random funny story. <laughs> you ever met Colin? No, that was on, I screamed fuck Mike Vick. Super cool dude. Yeah, I'm super sure. Super cool dude. And he, he's tall as fuck. I'm like, bro. He's a huge ass like, fucking athlete, bro. bro. I'm like, you sure he don't do basketball, bro? <laughs> Who your favorite basketball player? LeBron? Mine is LeBron Jr. Nigga already knew it. Already knew it. <laughs> Mine <laughs> is Lil <laughs> Bronny. <laughs> you said, oh, Lil Bronny. Lil Bronny is my favorite. Oh, okay. He got the most upside of anybody. Shout out to Bronny, man. Him and Wade's son? Yeah. yeah. If you watching him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, them niggas is on another level. For sure. I can't wait to see, like, them get to that. And that's another thing, niggas is documenting their whole lives. Like, yeah, just how Brown was like, now exactly. I'm like, like really, we've seen them since they was babies, bro. Yeah, yeah. Facts. And now we're crazy with this new generation. We're going to be old men be like, nigga, we was watching your LeBron dad play. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Bronny dad, like Bronny senior. <laughs> niggas be calling him, like, that's what niggas going to say. Like, if you really do what he's supposed to do, which I don't doubt, people going to start to refer to like LeBron James as like Bronny senior. That's fire. Like, ain't that crazy? That's like crazy. It's like yo, and he'll probably own a team that, that was drafted him. I'm Draft good at predicting. Crazy. I predicted Braun will go to the Lakers, and I, I feel like he's gonna end his career there. Nah, he's nah, yo, he, I ain't gonna lie. He called that shit <laughs> out early. He was big he was time early. Bro. No, I'm a Celtics man all day. My favorite player is Paul Pierce and <laughs> Kevin Garnett. That's a tie. He <laughs> said Paul yo, Pierce and KG. Random. This is random. Did Paul Pierce get stabbed? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck happened? That Somebody's awesome. brought that up to me. Somebody said a bar. I and I'm like, what are you Paul talking Pierce about? Nigga said something about, I was like, Pierce Yo. like Paul Pierce? Yeah. yeah. You said some shit yes. like that. I'm like, what yes. are you talking about? I'm like, nigga. No, I did uh, happen in Boston. Because Boston, yeah, Pierce like, Paul like, I grew up in Boston, like in my young, younger age, like, yeah. you know, before teens mm -hmm. and like just into my early teens. And that was, it's always been just super thugged out out there. So from what I know about the story, there's a couple stories because I know some hood versions. I know the media version. You know what I mean? It was a big thing because he almost died. He almost died, bro. Oh, they said really? if he didn't have like bro, the puffy coat on, and he was, when did he get stabbed? Like before, or after his career, or no? Like in, in the like in like his like third year. Damn. Yeah, this is real shit. I never knew this, bro. And it's like his third year. Yo, let's talk about D Rose though. D Rose is the dress, it's, it's, it's these. Bro, it's us. It's it gotta damn, be, bro. bro he's it on gotta fire. be. He, he feels comfortable. I'm happy. He feels comfortable. Yeah, I'm living vicariously oh, through him. He deserves it, bro. Yeah, yeah he deserves it so yeah, much. Bro. Looks like those knees are like yeah. locked in. I'm like, it's like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, when, I, when I look at D Rose, bro, like, especially like last season and everything, it's like, yo, you can just tell, like, yo, like, he's been through it. Like, he yeah. wears that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like, yeah, just to yeah. see him. Like, Ball. like, cause, cause he's one of those people. Like, you know, every time he hit the court, like, you know, like that's what he lived for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like he, that's the only time. Yep. Like, I feel like that's the only time you really have. We got to shout out Dennis you know Smith. Just shout out Dennis Smith one time for the match. Oh yeah, you know. Shout out to all man. Shout out to Giannis. Shout uh -huh. out to Braun. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah, man. Shout out to that. Shout Game out is the elevating. Whole, the whole Brooklyn Nets. Yo, I, I ain't tell you, I'm you're, you're not basketball. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 we're, <laughs> we're flex, but okay. <laughs> now, that's amazing, though. Yeah. Because you told me, and then we was, we was drunk then, when you told me. We was drunk. We was drunk as shit. But then I seen you kept posting shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's an ambassador for me. Yeah. No, bro, you deserve that, bro. Thank like, you, bro. you a fucking vet, bro. And Niggas should respect you as such. Right, you gotta come to the game with me one day. Cause yeah, I would. I, I'm I'm with saying. it, bro. You feel me with my ice, my chain. Yo, oh. yo, we doing the um, release party for. Um, yeah, we know. we planning them all right now. It's, it's it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be like some. I can't. Damn. 
damn, I can't tell you. He's going to be surprised. It's going to be crazy, though. Word. Yeah. No doubt, man. Look, listen, man. We in Brooklyn. Got my boy in best style. Word up. Appreciate you for coming through. Time, bro. You know what I'm back. saying? My boy Jitty Jig. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show. Like, yeah. yo, listen, DiCaprio too. I don't I don't know if this is gonna drop before, you know, yeah. but it's let's just say it's out now. Cause it's out. It's out. by the time most of you watching it, it's out. So get it. Make sure y'all go cop that, get go it. stream the fuck out of that, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, you know, stay tuned. Thanks. Much love again. New, show, new music on the way back. Peace and love. <laughs> you have one tomorrow night. Yeah. That's 47 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Catch y'all on the next one. One love. That was great.